Welcome back to the Jenna and Julian podcast. Hey. Hey. hey, this episode is brought to you by the Skim. Guys, get your information every morning from the Skim newsletter. The Skim helps me stay in the know on topics like um, all topics because I'm <laughs> bad at being in the know. But the Skim is basically a newsletter delivered to your email for free every morning. You get politics, sports, entertainment, and heaps more. Uh, right now, you can go to the skim.com. That's the S K I M M. Dot com slash Jenna Julian. Enter your email. Click subscribe. And that's it. That's that's all you have to do. So just go subscribe to the skim. They'll send you a uh, newsletter every morning of what's happening in the world to help you be educated and have conversations with your coworkers that you hate. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. The skim right now. Also, uh, when you enter using our URL, you can be entered for a chance to win a two hundred fifty dollar Visa gift card. Also sponsored by ThreadUp. Lit. Guys, you want to know a secret way to get 90% off. 90% off. Top name, uh, brand name, and designer clothing like Lululemon, Gap, J. Crew, Express, all the good stuff. All the good stuff isn't a brand. It's just me saying there's more. Uh, and there's more. But wait, there's more. Right now, in addition to the discounts they already have, you go to ThreadUp and you get an extra 40% off your first order with our URL. So go to thread, T H R E D U P dot com slash Jenna Julian and you use promo code Jenna Julian, get 40% yeah. off your first order on top of all the discounts they have. Tons of brand names. Tons stuff. of brand names, yeah. secondhand clothing, really nice. They make sure everything's perfect uh, and, and you will be happy with what you buy. So thank you to our sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. It's lit. Okay. What do you? Oh my god. Were you just gonna eat that pen? Yeah, I've been eating it for like. A Boy, <gasps> why? Oh my god, you're one of those people. Do you guys chew your pen tops? Oh, babe, we have to break up. Okay. We have to break up. Anyone out there a single uh, who chews pens <laughs> wants to hang out? <laughs> Julian, oh, I hate it when people would do that when they would ask you. Don't. I can't help it. This is They're my like, pen. I buy pens. Can to I borrow them. a pen and you give it to them and then they chew on it and I'm like, fuck you. I don't you. chew on other people's pens, babe. Okay, don't group me into those monsters, please. Why are you chewing on that? Because I, it's a tick and I like chewing on pens. I don't think it's a tick. It's I think, a tick. No, it's absolutely not a tick. Okay, it's it's just a habit. Okay. Sorry that I'm not perfect. Oh my God. You're not even... We broke up, so it's fine. <laughs> Get it out of your mouth. No, I will be chewing on it sporadically throughout the podcast. So if you could I'm just gonna like, leave me alone. I'm going to take it away from you. Maybe just leave me alone about it. No. Maybe just leave me alone about okay, it. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, so... No, I have a disclaimer, too. What? I want to... Okay, I want to say... Um, I know frequently my f- family and, and friends will watch the podcast to be supportive and, and amazing. I'd like to um, deter any of you, <laughs> if you're watching right now, to maybe just click away and go go to the next episode or previous episode. But just don't watch this episode. Mm, yeah. Especially parents. D- don't watch mom or dad. <laughs> okay, go what on. were you going to say? Um, I feel like your dad would understand this game. Your mom, maybe not so much. My mom, my mom wouldn't understand it. My dad would understand it, but still wouldn't like it. He'd be like, okay, yeah, no. probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> Neither of my parents, I don't think, would particularly like this. Debbie, but Debbie would be dumb. Actually, Debbie probably fully understands it. Right. Um, so we wanted to play a game, because this was inspired by a tweet that I saw, which was really... I forgot who tweeted it, which I feel really bad Shouts about. Shouts out to I, the person we forgot about. I'd like about. to give credit where credit is due, but I genuinely forgot it and didn't favorite it, so I can't find it uh but it was like comments in 2015 like oh my god i love you lol comments in 2016 like fuck me daddy and then comments 2017 on the internet run over my body with your car (laughs) and lick my asshole so i started thinking of a way that we could make a game and make uh, a series of 2017 comments. So this actually started out, we did have a third cup that was just filled with like daddy, father, queen, mommy, like that kind of thing. Nouns. Yeah. And we decided it didn't, it doesn't even really need it. Like in order to make the formula to make a 2017 comment is just the first part. You know what? And the second part. That's Julian's mom calling him right now. Um, she knows. Yeah, she knows. So basically, this is the 2017 comment generator. Yeah. Okay. So, but we the have- formula is like anything that's sexual and or violent and or makes no sense and or just asking something to be done to that person, violent, and right? Sexual. Exactly. So we basically constructed. Um, 
two different cups uh, full of the beginning half and then the and in second half yeah. uh, of what's um, of what makes up the 2017 comments. So basically what we're going to do is we're each going to pull what we're going to sure, battle, yeah. right? You want to battle? Yeah, I mean, some of them aren't going to work. Some of them aren't going to be funny. Yeah. So we'll this battle This is completely them. random. We, Julian, we sat down will, and Julian will make a 2017 comment and I'll make a 2017 comment and then we'll decide on the winner. All right. So I'm going to take one of each and you take one of each. All right. And we're, we're going to read Don't them, mix them next up. to each other. Okay. The number ones have number one written on them, just so you know. Okay. All right. You go first. All right. Paint me like one of your French girls and hold me hostage until I develop Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> That's a 2017 comment. That is. Like, someone would tweet that at you. Yeah. Yeah. What's yours? Penetrate me with both arms <laughs> and ambush me with a squirt gun full of lead paint. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Paint me like one of your French girls and hold me hostage until I develop Stockholm Syndrome. Hold me hostage until I develop All right. Which Stockholm. one wins? I kind of like yours. Yeah. Mine's pretty dope. I mean, the squirt gun full of lead paint. It's pretty great. Pretty good. What's the first part of yours again? Penetrate me with both arms. Yeah, mine wins. All right, you win. Buen, 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 buen. No, 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 buen, buen, buen. So 2017 comment. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. All right. Um, all right, you pull the next one. What are you doing? I, I just, my mom called me twice. I just want to make sure everything's chill. Well, Jesus. I understand. Sort of. I'm kidding. I do. <laughs> all right. Wow. <laughs> All I gotta say is wow. Okay. Uh, my 2017 comment is choke slam me through a door and super glue my ass shut. <laughs> What's yours? Uh, annihilate me with your Tesla and threaten me with biochemical warfare until I surrender. <laughs> oh my god. Mine's uh, amazing. Yours one. Yours one. Choke slam me through a door and super glue my ass shut. That's a great fucking comment. Super glue my ass shut. Yeah. Like just the cheeks, you know? Oh. Well, All you right. can do the hole and the cheeks and you squeeze them together until it dries. How long do you have to hold the butt closed? Forever. No, like how long do you have to physically Oh, press just it? maybe a minute or a so minute until it hardens. It. Yeah. And then it hardens. Yeah. But that's only after you choke slam me through a door. Well, that knocks them out so <laughs> they can have their ass glued shut, like peacefully. You guys are sick. That's I like, like how we're blaming this on you, but these came from our brains. True. Like, let's be honest. Here. But that's like, really, really, though. This is like, should the people comment? What? Yeah. Is that a spider on this cup? What is that? <gasps> Julian, Julian! Oh my God! What's wrong it's, with it's you? Just, it's just like lint. It's not even. A well, spell. then why did you bring it towards me like that? I wanted to scare you, big beep. Why did you put those back? What are you doing? Oh shit! I don't know. Oh, th those are there. Sorry. Are you even here? <laughs> Hello, Julian. Okay, so those two have you. Sorry, I apologize. There was a little bit of a mix-up with the spider. No, hat. there wasn't. Hap, 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 hap. It didn't need to happen. All right, you first. All right, 2017 comment off, boy. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. This I'll is go. so dark. Are right, you go All first? Right. Freshly grind pepper into my eyes and throw me like a grenade into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay, mine is dark. Throw me like a grenade. Like ooh. mine is like way too dark. All right, let's hear it. Incinerate my entire lower half and skull fuck my corpse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, but at least that makes sense though, because your lower, like, I like your lower half's gone, so he has no, skull fuck. No way, mine's too dark. Freshly grind pepper into my eyes and throw me like a grenade into the Grand Canyon. Yeah, twenty seventeen. I'm comment. pretty proud of that one. All right, I'll take I'll take the the win. On All right, that you one, keep please. keep it over there. So no, yeah, so we can keep count. All right, so just keep your winning cards, right? Yeah. Losing cards go over there. All right. We don't want you losers. All right. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> Straddle me like a horse and FaceTime me while you rob a bank. <laughs> that one's pretty good. Help me. Yeah, I got you, girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yours is so good. I got... so... Give me the fucking money. Yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm just I'm pointing the gun. <laughs> Suspend me in a 10-foot cage and do a wheelie over my spine on your Vespa. I like the second part, but the tempo cage makes it impossible to do a wheelie on top of them. Well, you never know. Maybe they're at the circus. 
It's a little far fetched. I, I like think yours. I win that one. Yeah, you definitely win that. Just one. imagine a guy on a horse. Read face it timing. again. Straddle, straddle me like a horse and Facetime me while you rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty great. Yeah. Ooh, I'm on fire, baby. That's baby. like something someone would tweet at Shane Dawson. Yeah. All right. This is basically an entire podcast dedicated to Shane. Oh my god. Read it it really is though. <laughs> Rip my wig off and shake my pussy with your jawline. Uh, shank. <laughs> <laughs> God. What the fuck? Finger me like you're manually rewinding a VHS tape. <laughs> Co- collect call me from prison. Okay. That one wins. That one wins. Wait, read it again. Read it again. <laughs> Ew, that is so (laughs) gross. That is so disgusting. Oh my god. I do not need a demonstration of you fingering someone like a VHS tape. Finger me like you're manually rewinding a VHS tape. (laughs) Collect, call me from prison. That is incredible. I'm pretty proud of that card. That's pretty great. (laughs) I rip my wig off and shake my pussy with your jawlines. Okay, but. What if we combine? Oh, what if we both think that it could be better served if I combined like my A with your B? What was that? What if we go finger me like you're manually rewinding a VHS tape and shank my pussy with your jawline? No, no, it doesn't no work. yours is great. All right, fine. I'll take another. Damn, dub. you're winning. Take another dub, baby. Eep, eep, eep. Eep, eep, eep. That was really good. You guys are all welcome to steal these, by the way. Yeah, you guys can have these, That's and don't great. don't credit us, please. <laughs> No, seriously, like, we don't want our names attached to this. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Does podcast with it. Okay, go. Oh, man. All right, I have uh, Give Me a Dead Leg and Gently <laughs> Slide Your Galaxy Note 7 up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! Here you go, baby. <laughs> like, dead leg is so violent. Like, you have to really punch someone's leg to give them dead leg. <laughs> it would distract from the galaxy sliding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't hurt when it goes up your butt. Galaxy Note 7. Right. Gently, though. Gently. Kick flip over my dead body and smuggle me... <laughs> Wait, sorry. And smuggle me through customs like a balloon of heroin. <laughs> God. I think yours wins. Yeah, I like mine. Give me a dead leg and gently slide your Galaxy Note 7 I like. I ass. like the fact that it's a Galaxy Note 7 because it's probably the most dangerous phone to slide up someone's It's going to catch on fire in that person's butt. It You're is. dead. You're that dead. dead leg is is a precursor to what's going to happen to you. You're d- dead leg. Wow. All right. What is wrong with 2017? I don't know. Wow. Okay. What? Mine is cover my vagina in ant traps and drag <laughs> me through a field of landmines. Ugh. Tie me up with your MacBook charger and DIY LASIK me. <laughs> LASIK like eye surgery? (laughs) (laughs) Yours wins. DIY. Mine's not that good. Guys, how long until the DIY scene on YouTube just turns completely rogue? I don't know. And they start DIYing the most dangerous things. I honestly thought that the thousand degree knife challenge was one of the most dangerous like challenges yeah, I've ever seen. Yeah, casually like holding f- 10 torches at once, lighting their kitchen on fire. Well, I feel like a blowtorch is a little more controlled. Like you you know what's going to happen, you know, it's going to melt or catch on fire sort of because you can direct it. But like a thousand degree knife seemed really fucking dangerous. Really dangerous, especially because like challenges on YouTube are like, oh, there's a challenge going around, everyone can do it. Like the face swap challenge or whatever. But yeah. like kids are doing the thousand degree knife thing. That that was wild. I feel like that was sort of when the DIY t- challenge. S- that might have been the nail in the coffin for yeah. challenges. Yeah. No, Maybe. No. So no, I mean it was just but that's the thing, like it didn't it wasn't a challenge. It started out as like a, just a thing. trend or well, whatever. Like cars and water, like red hot nickel ball. That's yeah. all that channel does. Yeah, but that's way OG. Like right. that was that that transcends and predates this knife trend. Yeah. The knife trend came out because that guy, Mr. Gear or whatever, was doing it. Mm. And everyone started to watch it. It was just so satisfying. But it was like the hydraulic press channel. Like not everyone can go out and buy a hydraulic press, but everyone can go out and buy a knife and light them, you know, yeah. blow it. I know. It's just one of those things where like YouTube is just super fucking weird, weird, and weird. Like unregulated. It seemed really fucking Unregulated dangerous. Though. Me, me, me. People are like, "Are you gonna do that?" And I was like, "Hell, fucking no!" You no. think I want to light my house on fire? I liked uh, Ethan and Neela's night. Yeah, that was funny. That All was right, funny. I have fill my pussy with cake batter and hold me hostage in a 
Kids are us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jam me in a panini press and slowly die on me. Oh my god. <laughs> Which one's better? I like the second part. I like Hold Me Hostage in a Kids R Us. Yeah, that one's good. You win. What was the first part of yours again? Jam me in a panini press and slowly die on me. That's so fucked. I'm winning. Oh, if, no, if we're tied. If you're this far into the podcast and you still don't really understand what's happening, I don't really blame you. But it's <laughs> it's like it's almost like the one upping of like when fans or people on the internet are commenting or yeah. tweeting at their favorite people, they want to like draw that shock value of like, I love you this much. That it's so shocking. That it's so shocking that I want you to run over my body and like kill me. Right. Like, and it just, it, I think it's a very funny, if you look at it from it the right funny. perspective, it's a very funny trend. It's like, it's hilarious. It is fucking funny. It's funny. It is. It's funny because it's funny. Like you I said. think it's funny. All right. <clears throat> you go first this time. 2017 comment off. Oh. Come on. What does it say? Pound my gaping asshole <laughs> and snot rocket into my butt. Oh my god! <laughs> that one actually works together. It does. Those, those ew, two. ew. Ew. <laughs> it's so ew. 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 All right. Oh, mine is god. hit me with a steaming hot walk and trample my taint. <laughs> Steaming hot walk. <laughs> Imagine like you go into the kitchen, you light the the stove, and you turn on the walk until it starts steaming, and you just take it off, <laughs> smack <laughs> someone with it, <laughs> and then as soon as you're done with that, you just trample all over someone's taint, <laughs> just their taint though. Well, okay, I have a question. Logistically, what? what position does the person have to be in on the ground to get their I taint trampled? Like, like uh, handstand position, and you just no, like maybe laying on your back with your legs like over your head, so oh. your butt's like in the air. Yeah, you just, just like trample the taint. It. Yeah, just the taint. But what if you accidentally hit, like, the balls? Or well, the butt? that's on you. That's your fault. The taint is a tiny little target. It is. That was You need, that like, was, a stiletto. And then was, I don't even know if that... That was alliteration. Yeah. I don't even know if that counts as trampling, though, because that's only, like, one point of pressure. I feel like trampling is, like, multiple points of pressure. Trampling is, is, is like... Multiple, not points of pressure, but multiple sources of it, like different people or different animals. And feet. Like, and feet. There needs to be like an <laughs> army of feet going after one little taint. Or it could be like, this is Bigfoot who's getting his taint trampled. Uh, and all, all these normal sized humans' feet fit perfectly oh on my his God. taint. So Yours like, bam, wins. Bam, 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 Yours bam. wins. Oh. Read it again. Pound my gaping asshole and snot rocket into my butt. Yeah, that wins. It references his butt twice, which I think it shows dedication to the butt. It does. It's a good joke. Mm -hmm. Good dedicated joke. Yeah. All right. All right, baby. Want me to read mine first? If you want, baby. Also, guys, um, on the comment section on this video, I expect nothing less than this. Just oh. all these comments. Yeah. Like comments like well, this. Well, we know that you guys are good at them because those of you that follow us like on Twitch, like that we stream, like yes. you guys are. Twitch is where it really goes oh down. Oh my God. Yeah. We stream on Twitch every week on Mondays, twitch.tv slash Jenna Julian. And the Dink fam who shows up at the Twitch chats, <laughs> like they take they take some joke that happens in the video game, like like the clit thing. Oh or my like God. we played Life is Strange, there's a million jokes that came there's out. There's a of that. million jokes. But they make these jokes so shocking. And so if you like visit the comments for like a second, you're not used to being there. You're like, what the fuck is happening? But it's Amazing. It's amazing. All right. Run me over with your motorcycle and blow me like a Vuvuzela. 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 Do you guys remember Vuvuzela? <laughs> Grenade oh. whistle. <laughs> we had one. They were so great. What's yours? I got one at um, a monster truck jam. Oh. I went to a monster truck like rally, and they were giving them out there. I've never been to a monster truck show, but I have been to multiple demolition derbies. I've never been to a demolition derby. Oh, my God. They are so fucking incredible. We should go. Yeah, we should find one. I don't know if there are any here. We can go to, like, I'm talking, like, straight hick in, shit yeah. in upstate New York. Let's That's what it. I used to do. Let's do it. Because I, in case you didn't know, I'm kind of white trash. It's kind of my job. I am what I am. It's your job? Can't help it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can power clean my soft penis and text and drive over me into a McDonald's drive thru. <laughs> <laughs> text and drive over me. <laughs> power clean me with your soft penis? 
<laughs> All right, Julian, that wins. Okay. That fucking wins. Power clean me with your soft penis. That was incredible. I'm pretty proud of that one. What? Text and drive over me. Can you imagine Text like you're, drive over you're me. laying like, on the ground a... and someone's just driving in their car with their phone? Oh my God. But Don't you text want and it. drive. You want it. You lay there like text and drive over oh me. Oh my God. <laughs> you go first. All right. Okay. <laughs> my God. What? Vomit into my mouth oh. and cut off my skin to use it as a kite. Oh my God. All right, mine is hit me in the shin with your scooter and spit acid on my face. <laughs> hit me in the shin with your scooter. Yeah. That is that wins. That's pretty great. Yeah, I don't know. That hurts so bad. I don't know logistically about spitting acid. Mm. If you're a human, you norm, normal humans can't have acid. Maybe in they're mouth. reptilian. Probably alien. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah. It's interesting. Maybe you should think of the perspective of these comments as a reptile is writing them. Then it would all make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be logistically more possible. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you you want to get one? Oh, sorry. Oh, God. What? Did you write this one? I can't even. This is so fucked. What? Barricade me inside your safe room and come in my nose while I sneeze. You wrote that I one. Not, I don't, yes, I don't, you did. I don't recall. I wrote barricade me inside your safe room. Come in my nose while I sneeze. I don't recall. Yes, you did. I don't, I'd like to. I'd like to. Um, First of all, they're all in your handwriting. No, they're not. <laughs> I don't even have a blue pen. All right, mine is. <laughs> Death drop your ass onto my face and use my body as chains for your tires. <laughs> that one wins. Okay, death drop my ass. Death drop your ass onto, onto my, my face. face. If you guys don't know what death dropping is, it's a dance move where you just all of a sudden your leg goes it's, weak and you fall flat on your back. It's from it's from a, a movement called voguing. It's incredible. And just I recently look up, learned it. Like YouTube videos of people death dropping. Don't try it though, especially if you have weak knees or bad knees. <laughs> Because, like, I've tried it and it hurts. He tried it into the dog bed one night. Yeah. It was pretty good, though. Yeah. It could have been bad. Because you were, like, low to the ground, rocking back and forth, and then finally just went backwards. It could have been bad. It could have been, like, man death drops into fireplace and catches whole house on fire. That's... Very true. And you guys would have read about it on the skim the next day because it would have been a top news story that you would oh my miss God, really? because you're connected to <laughs> what's going on via the skim newsletter in your email inbox. Oh my God. Guys, the skim serves news right when you need it fast every single morning and it's with style and no BS. It's delivered in one email in your inbox and it's free. It's not a free trial. It's free. You subscribe and you get the newsletter every day. It makes it easier for you to be smarter with the latest on world news, politics, sports, entertainment. Even if you, you know, get your information on Twitter, there's a lot that you're missing that can fall through the cracks and Skim will fill those cracks in for you and it's, it's really great. nice. It is really great. It's really great. Um, it, it, and like I said, like, you know, if you go to a job with other people and there's small talk and you know, water cooler talk. It's it's nice to have a, a few facts in your pocket, ready to just like sling it. Fucking Susan from accounting who's just oh my nonstop God. dropping really? all these. Anyway, uh, <laughs> right now you can go to the skim. That's the s k i m m dot com slash Jenna Julian. Enter your email. Click subscribe. It's that simple. That's that's all we want you to do. Just subscribe. It doesn't cost any money. Four million people right now are waking up with the skim every morning. Even Oprah, guys. That's that's actually the whole sales pitch. Oprah does it, so please do it now. Uh, right now, if you sign up at theskim.com slash Julian, you have the chance to win a $250 Visa gift card. Uh, that's the skim with two M's. S-K-I-M-M dot com slash Julian. Thank you, the skim. And now, guys, to your stylish needs. The Thread Up is our next sponsor. It's actually just Thread Up. Uh, the Thread Up makes it so you can get up to 90% off. Name brands and designer clothing, like I said said, uh, uh, Banana Republic and Taylor Anthropology, all these different stores that cost a lot of money when you, when you buy clothes from them, uh, thread up, it makes it easy for you to shop on trend and with like new fashion clothing, really great shape clothing. Um, and you can get it for a, a fantastic discount right now. You will also get a 40% off your first order on top of the discounts that they already have on their site. Thread up triple inspects each item by hand, triple which is really good quality control to ensure that all the clothes are like new and lots even have the tags still attached to 
the garment. Once you find a great deal, you order it, and your items will arrive folded with care in ThreadUp's signature polka dot box. It's a really nice packaging if you haven't seen it. Uh, but right now, just go to ThreadUp. That's T H R E D U P dot com slash Jenna Julian. You enter promo code Jenna Julian, and you get an extra forty percent off your first order. ThreadUp, uh, check it out, guys. And w- you know, if you check it out, you it's find something. Lit. Tweet us a picture of your new garment, man. Sure. I want to see that. ThreadUp has so many options for you if you're looking to shop on a budget and get nice clothing. So thank you, ThreadUp. Oh, my mom has a purse from ThreadUp. Check I'm it out. Sure. It's pretty That rad. red one? Yeah. Oh, that, she, that is from ThreadUp, Yeah. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's like BCBG or something. And I was like, Mom, did you get a new purse? Like, Mom. You guys know the Debbie machine. Like, she's not very fancy. Like, she probably has one purse at a time, you know? Like, she's not. That's... I never actually thought of that. I was yeah. like, that is a nice purse. So that's what she said. She was like, I got it from the set up. So I was like, damn, Mom, that's a nice purse. The pop of color, it's red. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's 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 keep it moving. Who's winning? Is I it have a dead one, tie? two, three, four, it's five, six. six. To six. Oh, shit. We're going to end up with 15 total. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. You going first or me? Uh, you go first. Hurl me off the side of a Disney cruise and litter my throat with your toenail clippings. Oh. Julian, why'd you write all these gross ones? Litter my throat. That is so nasty. With your toenail clippings. That's love. Oh. That's love. So nasty. Mine is stomp on my pelvic bone <laughs> and make me eat your iPhone so you can use me as Apple Pay. <laughs> <laughs> that one wins. That one is incredible. Oh, are you paying by crash at cash or credit? Uh, Apple Pay. <laughs> you just move the person. <laughs> so would the person's stomach have to like be near the register? Oh, that'd yeah. be great because then it would just be stuck in there, like lodged in their. Or stomach. you just lodge it in their throat and they put their head on the mm. on the reader. Perfect. They're probably dead, but. You know. Oh my god. Does that one win? Yes. <laughs> okay. That great. definitely won. Great. Thanks, babe. Wait. Okay, so we have two, two more, each. more each. Yeah. All right. What do you got? Strangle me with a giant dildo <sighs> and ground and pound me unconscious. <laughs> Mine is spinning back elbow me in the elbow (laughs) and gag me like a Kardashian. I like how the two MMA themed ones popped up. Yeah. Right? Spinning back elbow me in the elbow and gag me like a Kardashian. Just just, that that one wins. But just just to explain what a spinning back elbow is. If you ever watch John Jones fight, he doesn't Give us a demonstration. It's like. Get up and give us a demonstration. All right, God. Let's go. All right. I I need to do it. Give me a target. Right, so spinning back elbow is if I spin and I elbow like that. Whoa. So imagine I do that into my elbow. elbow. <laughs> I'm just spinning back elbow you in the elbow. But like as hard as you can. Yeah. So like your funny bone definitely gets triggered. But both funny bones. Yeah. Like no one's getting out of there alive. Like that's that's a, a mutually destructive fucking attack right there. I like that one. But both of your elbows, I imagine, would get really cut. Because your elbow is so sharp when yeah. you throw it like it's that. Like stabbing knives against so each other. So your elbow is cut open and so is mine. And then you drip blood from the elbows on to the person's face. And then gag me like a Kardashian. And then you run me over with your ATV. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Drag me through barbed wire. Go. Oh. Who won me? Take me wakeboarding on shards of glass instead oh of water. God. Deliberately hide my passport. <laughs> Just really inconvenient things. Yeah. Like <laughs> steal my bus pass. <laughs> you caught me in line to get a metro card. Oh my god. Alright, so we have two more each, right? Or no, yeah. one more each. This yeah, is it. This is the last this is one. This is the final round. Wait, but you're winning, are you not? Oh I'm wait. Winning. No, I have this one. No, it's tied. Seven to seven. Yeah. So this is the this is oh the my this is god. for all the beans right here. <gasps> what does a bean mean? Alright, you ready? Yeah. Alright, you go first. Fuck me in the belly button and pummel me with your squash with your squash racket. <laughs> <laughs> that one's pretty good. Either it's a big belly button or a tiny little penis. Oh, you just make you it just work. make it work. Okay, put boiling hot Orbeez on my nipples <laughs> and visit me in jail, fully dressed as Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, thinking no. I might have won. How? No! I'm thinking so I might have won. Pummel me with your squash racket? 
Visit me in oh. jail, fully dressed as spy. Imagine My someone God. going to visitation in jail. You really did win. Trying to seriously visit someone, but they're head to toe Spider Man. You really did win. Read it again. Put boiling hot Orbeez on my nipples Just and visit me alone, fully dressed though. as Spider-Man in jail. All right. Now we should make, before we end, we should make, like, MVP ones. We should hand make them. All right. We'll like, t- take our favorite ones. Take some from your winning pile. Yeah, of course. Marble, shut it. Dog. Super glue my ass shut. That one's pretty good. Hit me in the shin with your scooter. Yeah. No. That one, uh. Hold me hostage in a Kids R Us. Oh, okay. Spinning back elbow me in the elbow. Okay, this one's pretty good. Finger me like you're manually rewinding a VHS tape and throw me like a grenade into the Grand Canyon. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I want to see these comments popping up on other people's videos, please. They're pretty great. Please. Oh, Um, that was peach. Spinning back elbow me in the elbow and super glue my ass shut. No, spinning back on me in the elbow and then that one. And DIY LASIK me. <laughs> <laughs> How would you DIY LASIK someone, though? You get a laser. Uh-huh. You can buy them off certain websites. Go on. The dark web. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. You can buy lasers. Go on. And then have uh, someone lay in, in a bed in your house, open mm-hmm. their eyes, mm-hmm. strap their eyes open, <laughs> and just shoot the laser into their eyes and like hope that something happens. <laughs> oh my god. It helps it helps if both of your elbows are already bleeding. Oh my god. Because it makes the whole thing a lot more you're distracted. You're not worried about the laser because your elbows cut gashed wide open. You're sick. <sighs> DIY LASIK. Okay, what's another MVP? Let's do another MVP. Oh, gently oh, gen- and, gently sorry. slide your Galaxy Note 7 up my ass. <laughs> Is that an and? Okay, so that's number two. Let's you need your- a number one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what it what is that? Power clean my soft penis and gently slide your Galaxy Note 7 <laughs> on my ass. <laughs> Wait, so if your penis is soft and someone grabs it and power cleans it, <laughs> so it's above your head by yeah. the time they're your done. Penis, the penis not only has to be soft, but it has to be pretty pretty flexible. Like, yeah. Like in that garbage movie, The Fantastic Four, where the guy who can bend mm-hmm. around like rubber, like his dick. Imagine that. That's the kind of dick. I've never need. thought about his dick. I guess you never thought about his dick. No. Why? I used to have a Stretch Armstrong too when I was a kid. Yeah, it's like Stretch Armstrong's like dick too. Yeah, because they. I don't know. Just stretchy dick. It's just stretchy <laughs> dick business. <laughs> just I'm gonna start a new Tumblr. Just stretchy dick things. Well, what would even be on there? Stretchy dick things like um, Stretch Armstrong fan fiction and the guy from <laughs> Fantastic Four fan fiction and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally it. What's and and experiments. Trials. What does that mean? Of trying to stretch my dick. Ew. No, like safely. Well, what do you mean? Like I'll take tiny doses of rubber each day as vitamins and then see if I can I don't think that would gain work. elasticity. I don't think that would work. Uh, I don't think you know what you're talking about. You don't have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and if you did have a dick, I don't think it would be as stretchy as mine. So. <laughs> I think it would. I don't think so. Uh, my skin's really stretchy. I don't think so. My skin's really sketchy. Here. Look at, look okay, at that. let me see. Ow. Please, don't pinch it. No. Oh, my God. <gasps> Julian, don't power clean my skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a... It's such like a... An impossible movement to do at anything to anyone's body, unless you're power cleaning their whole body. Their whole body. It's either their whole body or none of it. Mm-hmm. Well, next week on the Jen Julian podcast, <laughs> we're going to be doing some more of these hard hitting topics. Uh, but for uh, deliberately for right- hide my passport and hold me hostage inside of a kid's R Us. Yeah. Well, for right now, if you guys could do us the favor of uh, hitting us with some of these style comments right now in the comment section, and we will go through and potentially pin one and maybe love a couple. Have you noticed you can love comments now? No. You can? Yeah, you can love comments on YouTube. What? You click the heart button and it says the person. And you, only the person who made that video can love it. Like, not everyone can love oh, it. Oh, wow. So, it, like, it gives, like, the seal of that's approval almost. special. So, we might love some of your comments if you make them all fucked up and weird like these. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I appreciate as we were, like, writing these, they, the, the more specific and, like, ridiculous they are, the better, you yeah. know? No, but for they, sure. Yeah, but like, when they're specific and, like, really, really, really specific about yeah, some but random like thing. Yeah, but, like, the gist, I feel like the gist of internet comments in 2017 are, are fan comments are, like, either outrageously violent or outrageously sexual. Yes. And they're insane. Like, yes. they're so uncomfortable, but you know, like, the most well-mannered, nice little 14-year-old fucking wrote that. I know, and that's mm-hmm. the funniest part. Like, these adorable little, like, young 
fucking people over the internet are coming up with the darkest, most fucked up shit that you could ever fucking. It's the internet, man. That's why I like praise millennials to no end, and like kids that are teenagers right now because they're they're exposed to everything, but it's and honest, they fucking get it. And it's honestly, it's just kind of like another brand of humor that's been it coined. Is. And like you, you look at like. Um, I don't know. The, the shock factor of that sort of comedy has made appearances in all all sorts of you know moments in comedy history. Like a lot of comedy history is made totally. up of shock value, you know, commentary. And this is sort of like the new kind of version of it's it. It's pretty great. It's pretty good. It's really funny. I love you, Internet. I love you too, Internet. I said it first. <gasps> Gasp after I Straddle gasp. me like a horse and throw me like a grenade into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> By the way, I just two days ago I had my wisdom teeth out and I'm yeah. doing I'm doing wonderfully. A lot of you guys have been sending very very nice concerned tweets. Uh, I do have to say uh, it's easy to recover when you have uh, a wonderful girlfriend cooking for you nonstop. So Aww. I want to give shouts out to the other Jay for making uh, making me feel so much better. I want to give a shout out to my other Jay for staying the fuck out of the kitchen the last few days. You know me. I stay out the kitchen. It's been so... Like, Julian, I love you, but it's been so nice to have the kitchen to myself and I can cook things at my own pace and everything stays clean. All the cupboards are closed. The refrigerator doesn't stay open. And then like, these meals just appear in front of me. It's kind of yeah. nice. I think I'm going to get wisdom pe- teeth pulled next week, too. And just like have it <laughs> continuously. <laughs> After that, you can just start start on your molars. Twelve yeah. years, six years, just start ripping all those teeth. And out. then the front ones. Have you seen that picture of Tom Cruise about how his tooth is like in the middle? He has like a middle tooth that lines perfectly up. It's one, like you know what I mean. No, instead of two, it's just. <laughs> no, I want to find it. <laughs> Guys, do you know a, what I'm talking about? It's just a picture, right? It's not actually his teeth. No, it's it's just a picture of him. Tom Cruise, <laughs> middle. Oh, hold on. No way. Yeah. It's a is it Middle an edit? Tooth. Yeah, no, it's it's a picture. Like look at this. <laughs> like look. It lines per, like the middle tooth lines up with the center of his face. Okay, so his right front tooth lines up with the center of his no, face. No, that is I get it. He just has one front tooth. No, he doesn't. No, it's just one. It's right it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an incisor. Guys, that is his other front here? tooth. This is one front tooth. No, it isn't. There's no tooth. That's one, and then the molars Julian, and stuff. Julian, that's not how teeth work. Oh, okay, Miss Dentist Lady. <laughs> it would be really funny, though, if you got all of like the, your other front tooth pulled, so you could just have one, <laughs> and then you wear braces so that all the other ones are right next oh to it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously, what is this picture? Though? Or That's you, not you get though. braces to move all of your front teeth back so you could implant a new one middle tooth, one master tooth. I'm going to one-up you. What? You get braces to push all your teeth back, and then you put a whole other set of teeth, like a shark. So That's you have two gross. sets of teeth. No. So that when you're taking a bite of... Food. You hurt the food a little extra. No, pull out all of your teeth except for one and leave it. Like right in the middle? One top, one bottom. That's two teeth. (laughs) (laughs) Good enough. We should stop while we're ahead. All right. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out for another podcast. Leave us some 2017 comments. Leave us some good 2017 comments and tweet us some 2017 comments on at Jenna Julian Pod on Twitter. We won't judge you. We get them. We won't judge you. Um, Debbie helps us with that Twitter. So just bombard her with those those tweets, (laughs) please. I'm sorry, Mom. Debbie loves it. Um, Thank you, guys. See you later, Dink Fam. See you next week. Bye. Bye.